What's up, Pokemon players? Pokemonger here, back to showcase another online deck. Um, this one is very competitive and also very fun. So here's my Xerneas Break deck list. Um, Xerneas Break, 150 hit points and a one prize attacker, pretty nice. And then live stream attack, two fairy energy, and you do 20 times the amount of energy on our side of the field. So. The whole point is to get a bunch of energy on our side of the field and start taking big one-hit KOs with a one-prize attacker, so we evolve from this basic Xerneas with the Geomancy, choose two bench Pokemon, and for each of them put a basic fairy energy from the deck onto each of them, so we can accelerate energy that way. We can also accelerate energy with this Max Elixir. Um, we can kind of, in a sense, accelerate energy with a DCE, because it counts as two energies. And then once we have all of our energy in play, we want to keep them in play, so we have four EXP shares. And then three choice bands to boost our damage. So you can see how the damage in this deck can stack up very, very high, very, very quick with this live stream attack. Um, one Oranguru for the, the late game in, and three Leles to kind of put our energy on, acts as a backup attacker, and also allows us to search out our needed supporters. So, pretty basic supporter count here. Um, one Rescue Stretcher and two Super Rods to get back our one prize attackers and our much needed, much needed energy. Um, Three Fairy Gardens because that always comes in handy with this list. Free Retreat is so nice. And then three DCEs for that energy acceleration that I was talking about and 12 basic fairy energies to make sure that we can accelerate a lot of energy with Geomancy and still hit with our Max Elixir. So that's basically the deck profile. If you need more um, instruction or anything, if you have suggestions or questions, uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you right away, otherwise enjoy the match. Alright, let's get into a match here. Um, my opponent goes first, looks like. Um, oh, and he has the Hollow Eevee, that's cool. I start Xerneas, and he goes ahead and ends right away, so he didn't have anything in his starting hand, which is good, but he did get the energy attached to evolve into Sylveon. GX right away. I have the Lele in hand, so I go ahead and bridge it. Probably for two Xerneas and an Oranguru yet. And I'm going to start Geomancing for uh, more energy. <laughs> Basically the strategy of the deck. Um, one important thing here with this matchup is this Plea GX from my opponent is really going to disrupt my damage. So I have to make sure to spread out my energy as much as possible in this match. Um, yeah, it looks like he has two Psychic Ralts in play. Um, I go ahead and attach DCE to Lele and go ahead and in. Uh, go for a Max Elixir and I whip it, which is reasonable considering all the energy in my hand and the energy that I've played so far. Um, and like I said, I have all my energy spread out right now because that Plea GX is really scaring me. That's going to set me back eventually at some point in this game, I gotta think. <clears throat> he goes for the Ultra Ball for Octillery. Um, that's really going to hurt for the rest of the game because I'm going to have to focus his main threats and just basically allow that Octillery to draw, probably, unless I find an opening where I can, can just kill that Octillery. He did not find DCE. I'm not sure if he attached to that bench uh, early back there, but he was not able to plead GX me yet. I'm still expecting that. I go ahead and attach my tools and go for a big Sycamore. Um... Geomancy, the last two energy out of my deck, but I do have Super Rod there, which I can put a couple more back in. He gets his turn three Gardevoir GX, so one, two, three, four. He needs one more energy on that before he can take a knockout on this active Xerneas. And actually, he does get another. Oh, he had Guzma. Okay, so he's going to take a knockout on my Lele. He has two Gardevoir GX in play, so everything is going perfect for my opponent right now. 
He takes two energy off the board and takes two prizes at the same time. I get to attach a choice band to the active and a DCE to my Rangaroo. I'm just trying to find a way to one hit KO this guy. I do have plenty of energy in play at this point. I just need a Xerneas Break. So I get the Ultra Ball off that Sigmore, evolve into Xerneas Break. Uh, play down the EXP share to conserve my energy, and I just have enough uh, energy in play to take uh, 230 damage knockout on his Gardevoir GX. I'm still pretty threatened yet by this backup Gardevoir GX. Um, all he needed was a secret spring and a manual attach, or just a manual attach of a DCE, which he obviously has. He goes ahead and benches another Ralts as a potential backup threat and Octillery is that Octillery is really killing me <laughs> but there's nothing I can really do about it I gotta handle these main threats one good thing is he was not able to field blower my two EXP shares so I gotta conserve those energies um, and it looks like I top deck that um, Xerneas Break which is awesome go ahead and shuffle in the energies and the Xerneas Break I need an energy off of this Sycamore so I did shuffle in two energies and a Xerneas Break, because I'm going to need that, obviously, too. And I just barely hit that um, energy. Max Elixir hits for the Lele, and I'm hitting for plenty of damage at this point. Um, looks like I'm counting. I probably have enough to take Knockout with the non-choice band. Yeah. Yeah, I would have hit for 240 with the non-choice band Xerneas. I should have promoted the non-choice band Xerneas, but... Um, oh well, minor misplay right there. He shuffles back in, a couple Gardevoirs, and couldn't tell if that was a Ralt. Or Curly of the Sycamore finds another, somehow finds another Gardevoir GX to put in play, and he's charged up with enough energy on it to knock my, knock out my active Xerneas break for, for um, 150 damage. He also found the Secret Spring to the active. Sylveon GX to retreat it um, and I never did see a plea GX during this game which you have to be really afraid of in this matchup does not look like I ever saw it but um, there in my ending hand I had plenty of win conditions and that was just a good old-fashioned um, shootout between me and my opponent I happened to win that one that was a good match and that's why it, I included it in this video so um, yeah, that's about it. As you can see, I did more damage and had a bigger attack there. And Xerneas Break is just such a strong one prize attacker. Um, one of my favorite decks to play right now for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this one. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Alright, thank you guys for watching my Xerneas Break um, deck showcase. <laughs> we'll open up a couple bonus packs here for you um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos I would appreciate it it really helps this channel grow a uh, reverse Cosmo oh apparently I already had plenty of those but that's pretty cool still and a hollow Shinotic 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 I don't know <laughs> that one's spelled pretty weird um, but yeah go ahead and like and subscribe I will be um, keeping track of those who like and subscribe first and reward those players later on once I gain a little bit better of a following um and let me know oh this is a pretty cool Pokemon I always look at and never never try to build around but that is a pretty cool Toxicroak <laughs> but what I was saying is let me know if you want me to change anything about my videos or if you have any suggestions uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, Hollow Sand Tomb. It's actually a pretty cool card, to be honest. Um, and a Mount Lanakila. Um, let's open up one more pack. Let's open up a Crimson Invasion. And then we'll call it a bonus pack clip. Call it a video. Um, and if you ever have any deck quests. Uh, go ahead and leave that request so I can get those going. Oh, beware. This is actually one of the decks I want to make next. So, very good. I do have a playset now.
Alright, um, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next time.